Welcome to the second part of the Project Quimbly modding tutorial. Continuing from last time, we're now going to be editing the audio. This one is going to be a little bit more complicated, so try to pay attention. You need to start by downloading Unity Hub, which will be in the description. Upon opening it, it will ask you to sign in, so you may have to make an account. When you sign in, it's likely going to prompt you to install a version of the Unity Editor. It doesn't matter which one you install, but you should probably just install whichever one is recommended to you. I already made one, but you're going to want to click on New Project and just do whichever one you want. I think Universal 2D takes a little bit quicker to load than Universal 3D, so that's the one that I chose to do. You may have to wait a little bit while Unity generates a project, but after that's done, you're going to want to go and find whatever audio you'd like to add or replace in Quimbly and then you're going to want to drag it into your assets area in the editor. After that, you're going to want to create an audio source anywhere in the scene. It can be on the uh, main camera and then drag your audio that you added into the audio source. After that, you're going to want to click on file and then go to either build properties or build settings depending on the version of Unity you have. Then you're going to want to build for whatever platform you're trying to mod. At the end of the day, you're trying to build this so that you can edit its shared assets afterwards. Now the assets folder is sort of like a pointer to the resource folder. So you're going to have to copy over the resource folder from your new audio project into Quimbly. You have to rename it first, otherwise it'll copy over shared asset zero in Quimbly. So I've changed the name to shared assets 999 because there's never going to be 999 scenes in Quimbly, I can tell you that. Now just drag that over to your Quimbly folder. Now you're going to open shared asset zero in UABEA. Next, you're going to want to find the audio files that you put into this project and you're going to export them as either raw or dumps. Doesn't really matter. You do the same thing anyways. And open shared assets one in the UABEA. You may notice that the title of the song is already in the Quimbly game files. That's because I copied over the gym with that song. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna copy over the park song with the one from the audio project. So I have found number one park, and then I'm gonna go to uh, view data and see how it says number one park, and then we go to the streaming assets, and it says that the source is shared assets one.resource. That's the pointer to where the game looks for the asset. Now I'm gonna import raw, and I'll import the file from the other project. And then I'm going to have to go and edit the data to make sure that it's pointing to shared assets 999, which we put into the game files earlier. Then we're going to click file and then save and then test out our audio changes. I hope you were able to follow this one along. It was a little bit more difficult than the last one, but don't worry, it gets a little bit easier in the next one, which is going to be dialogue. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll answer as many people as I can.